In 2014, Parliament passed the Ant Pornography Act with the intention of controlling production and dissemination of pornography in the country. The same act provides for the creation of a pornography control committee and prescribes its functions. The pornography control committee was instituted about two years ago but adhered to commence its work. Today, five members of the nine-member committee were sworn in at the Ministry of Ethics and Integrity. The committee's membership is a representation by people from different sectors and it includes a chairperson, a distinguished practicing advocate nominated by the Uganda Law Society, a representative of media houses, a representative of publishing houses, a representative of the arts and entertainment industry, a representative of education professionals, a representative of health professionals, a representative of cultural leaders, and a representative of religious leaders. The chairperson of the committee is Dr. Net Kezab Kesimbazi, the acting vice chancellor of Kampala International University and a former journalism lecturer at Makerere University. The others who were sworn in are Charles Dalton Oponya, Hafsa Kabaganza, Victoria Sentamu, and Dr. Fred Nyakole. Four nominated members did not attend the swearing in function for various reasons. Dr. K. Simbazi emphasized that the committee would fulfill the mandate given to them by law, like educating and sensitizing the public about the dangers of pornography, ensuring that the distributors of pornography are apprehended and prosecuted, collecting and destroying pornographic materials with the assistance of law enforcement agencies, among other functions. Before you do anything, you normally have to do a situation analysis. We want to analyze what is on the ground, what is happening. Although we know in a, in a in disparate ways, in, in a scattered way, we now want to consolidate what is on the ground so that we are able to tackle whatever we think will be a priority. During the swearing-in function, Father Lokodo emphasized that with the existence of a fully functioning committee, equipment to detect pornography use will soon be brought into the country. You, media, you have been shouting all the time, more Lokodo is coming with a machine, it's coming with a machine. Now the machine is coming. <laughs> <laughs> These are the people whose duty is to expedite the development or acquisition and installation of an effective protective software. Members of the public have expressed mixed reactions about the initiative that the government is taking towards the fight against pornography. But the only problem we have uh, is um, we don't have uh, like restriction to some information. Even a kid would put in anything and you get the information. These pornography things have led people into do wrong things. They are raping young girls, underage girls. They are doing crazy things, raping women around. And if they stop that, I believe that at least it's going to do something good in the country. Uganda has a young population that is increasingly embracing technology. With the proliferation of new communication technologies like smartphones and multiple content sharing platforms on social media, it remains to be seen how the new committee will fight the dissemination of pornography among this group of people who it claims it is out to save. The Anti-Pornography Act has also been in spotlight for infringing on human rights, especially the right to privacy and freedom of expression. Jumakiria, NTV.